the Filament Bible Major Update. Welcome to Bible on the Go with Dr. Dan. The professionals at Tyndale Bible Publishers have done it again. I'm talking about a study Bible that goes with your paper Bible that has updates. One advantage of Bible software that we've had now since the 90s is that if you purchase the software, you would get free updates. And sometimes you might have to pay even for the updates if it was a major feature upgrade. Well, the professionals at Tyndale Bible Publishers have done this groundbreaking thing with the Filament Bible, and it includes the software for the phone, the iPad, or the mobile device. And so I have another video talking about the amazing bridge that Tyndale made between paper and digital when they came up with the Filament app, but it bears repeating that you can't just go buy the Filament app. Uh, you can download the Filament app, but it won't work if you don't have a Filament Bible. And so in the Filament Bible, when you purchase a Filament, an actual paper Bible that's labeled Filament, then you can scan the first page right here and it will associate this Bible with your Filament app, and it's a fantastic experience. But the amazing thing about it is, when they came out with this new update, the whole audio Bible of the New Living Translation was free, and it was automatic in the app. Scrawny thin cows ate the seven healthy fat cows. At this point... Now, admittedly, they don't have a King James audio Bible yet. But that's the beauty of the filament Bible, is that when they do, it'll be an automatic upgrade. And it's or, it's absolutely wonderful, and I wanted to tell, tell you about it, because the upgrade was free. So, the first thing you got to do is you got to update the app. And... There's information all over the web about how to update your app. Then when you open it up, the audio Bible will be on the bottom menu. And it's wonderful. David and Abishai went right into Saul's camp and found him asleep, with his spear stuck in the ground beside his head. Abner and the soldiers... Make sure that in your audio Bible, that you once you select it, that you choose Auto Run. Auto Run will make it so that it will sync with your reading plan or with your app or even within the audio Bible. And I'm going to show you how to do all of it. First, the best part about this is that Tyndale has already had these built-in reading plans that you can select and set up. Well, now you can select your reading plan. You can go to that reading plan and then choose your audio Bible, and boom, it automatically syncs with where you are. That is an absolute game changer in the Bible software market because you've got this built-in audio Bible as you're traveling and you can listen to, to the Word of God, and it's synchronized in a, in a major way with your reading plan. And then if you get tired of it or you want to advance forward, you can also do that. So, there's the reading plan aspect, and you can even switch between reading plans, and it will sync with you. You can also navigate within your app. And so, if you just want to say you're in Genesis and you want to move forward a little bit, you just select within the app, and then the audio Bible will sync with where you are. And then if you're decide to scan, like say you're in the Old Testament and you want to scan to something in the New, again, when you choose that, when you scan, say, Romans in your Bible, and then you open up the Audio Bible app, it will sync with that space. I think that's wonderful. And then, of course, if you're just in the Audio Bible and you decide you want to move forward into another book, you can also navigate within the audio Bible. Now, I said all that to say, you can do all of this, but the one major tip is if you find your audio Bible is in the last place that you were, 
you'll just have to scroll down and then open it up again and it will sync just fine. It's a major, major upgrade. Now, there's still some things that I wish this app did. Number one being in the study notes, I wish that the scripture references in the study notes were hyperlinked to a Bible inside the app, but they don't have that yet. But you can always email your suggestions to the Filament uh, email address, and they're happy to receive the suggestions. Nevertheless, if you buy a Filament Bible, make sure you download the Filament app to take your Bible study experience to a whole new level. Thanks for watching. Bible on the go, Dr. Dan. If you like this video, the best thing you can do is hit that button called subscribe. Doesn't cost a thing, and you only have to do it once. And if you do it again and you're not thinking, you'll accidentally unsubscribe. So, hey, right, just make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching. Praise God.